We all know we come from different places and we want to make sure that we all can work together and all be successful in life. When you're out in the field, you know, there's stereotypes and prejudices that are happening all around you all the time. Whether you think you're guilty of it or not, having education and learning more and steps of how to be more inclusive wouldn't hurt anybody. I think this committee is coming up with a lot of good ideas for that and we just want to implement it in all levels and that's in the shops, in the field and even in the union halls themselves. The Beef Roll Committee is a joint venture between SMACNA, ITI and SMART and um, as a group we're trying to create better environments for our membership to grow. I've been in the trade about 18 years now, worked one company for about 16 years of that time where I finished my apprenticeship with them and just kind of started to become a sub foreman and foreman for them over the years. Some of the issues that we're having in our industry with not having uh, members, you know, feeling in a safe place when they're at work and um, we're trying to correct some of those past prejudices and uninclusive behavior. A lot of times lately we've had newer members leave the trade because they're not being treated right. What we're proposing for the work that we'd like to do is, you know, implementing some toolbox, job box, trying to keep our newer members coming in um, aware of how to treat people and not be um, exclusive. It matters for Canadians that are members of SMART because we all have to kind of put into perspective how we treat people. You might not think it's happening, it is happening in some places, whether you're in the US or Canada. Beef for All is something that I really believe in and I think that um, as a collective uh, we can overcome some of the past practices or try to at least progress forward and not have people treated the way that they were treated in the past. I'm very passionate in us getting this work done and being very successful because I think it's important not only in society but especially in our industry. We're trying to create good environments where our members can thrive and become successful in their career of sheet metal and roofing.